Uh, while you're doing that, I'll answer one of the, the questions in the chat. Someone asked, what is fixed update for? Oh, well, well, thank you for the super chat, by the way, Fahad. Um, a super answer now. <laughs> <laughs> that was lame. <laughs> I, I, Sorry. I so, um, <laughs> so without getting too into it, um, the reason for an update loop is an update loop is a constant tick of what's going on while your application is running. And it's like any other method you'd write. You'd write a method called do thing. And the question becomes, how often do I call my do thing method? And if, you're, if you've got something like a character's position that's moving across the screen, and you add plus one every time do thing is called, that will happen relative to the speed at which you call it. So what I mean by that is if you call that method 50 times in a second, your character will move 50 steps. If you call that method um, 200 times in a second, that character will move 200 steps. So you really want to make sure that you're calling at the right amount of times. Now, the problem is update is not frame dependent. So update, depending on how good your computer is, will call at different rates, different speeds. And so you end up having to use this thing called time.delta time, which tells you how much time has passed between frames. So if you, if you multiply a value by time.delta time, it will normalize it so it happens over the lifetime of that frame. So for example, I take the number one and I multiply one by time.delta time. That, will, that, will, that value will be, go from zero to one over one second. So if I take a value and I add time.delta time, that will be one over one second. So effectively what I'm getting at is there is a number of, there's a time that travels between frame time and you don't know what that is when you run your update loop. But physics runs at a different rate than the rest of your game because physics needs reliability. So what you do instead is for fixed update, fixed update runs unlike the normal update, which is dependent on how fast your computer is, fixed update will run with a constant differential between frames. So that's a 0, 0.0. 02, I think. So effectively, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll guarantee that each step is equidistant between them. And that's great for physics. It means physics can reliably calculate and smooth things smoothly, move things smoothly, <laughs> but it's not great for things like input. If you do your input inside of a fixed update, you can literally miss the frame at which they press the button because they could press in between the update polling rate of the fixed update. So, long story short, <laughs> fixed update is used when you need to have something persistently, cleanly applying at the same rate. And that's usually physics, because physics needs to calculate stuff using time as an actual parameter. Yeah. Uh, for things that are more about reacting, you want that to happen uh, in real time, but also count for frame differences. And that's where you would say, um, take the check the inputs the user gave you, and then move something, but multiply it by the delta time delta, yeah. so that it, it averages out to be fair. And it doesn't matter how long. Like It might take 0.2 of a second for one frame to travel, but the next one might take 0.4. Because so it's never going to be even, right? Depending on how much, of your, how much work this computer is doing, the frame rate is constantly going up and down. So you kind of want that to be averaged out. But it doesn't matter if there's a larger jump one step to the other. But in physics, something was to move twice as much in one step than the next that can massively mess with your, um, your physics calculations. So it's better to keep that stuff happening equal, even if you miss frames. You don't mind if it's not happening flawlessly every single frame. It's more important that it happens consistently. Mm -hmm. And there's other stuff too where you can actually change that rate value. Like you can make it much smaller if you need a much larger physics, uh, much faster physics calculations. But yeah, but you don't. By default, providing you, if you do anything to do with adding forces and messing with velocity, do it in fixed update, you're doing input, do it and update. There you go. There's your <laughs> long-winded answer to that question. I was like, that was a super answer. Thanks. <laughs> All right.